murder victim's father lunches at his son's killer's supporters in court after a member of the gunman's family said at least he's still alive. The father of a man killed outside a Florida convenience store in 2016 had to be held back in court Thursday after a relative of the man who murdered him was heard making a vulgar comment after his guilty conviction. Frank Daly 3, 30, was shot dead during an altercation with Marquis Valentine outside the quick stop on 6th Avenue in Lake Worth three years ago. After hearing Valentine's first-degree murder conviction, someone thought to be his family member was reportedly heard saying, at least he's still alive. CBS 12 reports it was that comment that triggered the slain man's parent, Frank Daly Sr., to lunge in the direction of the killer's supporters. Other relatives of the victim are also visibly upset by the reaction from Valentine's side but some opted to restrain Daly Sr. as a heavy guard presence kept the situation under control. All the while, Valentine sat calmly in the Palm Beach County Court. Daly Sr., grandfather to the father of two's children. Continued to verbally respond when he was brought down from a bench he tried to climb over to access the back row. Tears streamed from the eyes of Daly's loved ones. One of them responded the comment from Valentine's side was disrespectful. CBS 12 reports that before the insensitive comment from Valentine's supporter, a judge had asked a distraught family member of the killer to leave the courtroom due to her loud crying. After she was ordered out, the person made the comment about Valentine getting away with his life despite being sentenced to the remainder of his time alive behind bars. Prosecutor Terry Skiles had to explain what led to the outburst to Judge Vice as the Daly family asked Skiles to apologize on their behalf. The judge then revealed what they already knew, Valentine would get life in prison without parole, the mandatory sentence for a first-degree murder conviction in the state. Valentine heard his fate as he approached the door to be led to a cell. Daly who was a sous chef at Cabo Flats, was on his way home to his fiancée and child on July 31, 2016 when he was fatally shot in the chest. Surveillance footage showed Daly put his hands in the air as a surrender and attempted to get into his blue Kerala after a verbal exchange with Valentine. But he was shot in the chest and died later. They were talking all these things. A guy came in behind them and they said something to him. I can't hear them because of the glass. Then I look at the camera and I see he went to get his gun and then I saw the guy come outside and shoot him, store clerk Kel said I Gelgak said at the time. The day after the incident. Daly's father cried as he said words shouldn't be the cause to take someone's life. I don't know where I'm going to go from here. It is a tough. The gun violence has to stop, Daly Sr. told CBS 12 after flying in with a dozen loved ones from New Jersey. This is tragic and they can't find him. He just runs away. This is grossly unfair and unjustified and you will get caught. At the time Tracy Daly appealed for money on a GoFundMe page that raised $5,760 of a $10,000 goal, calling the incident a random senseless act of violence. Valentine was captured a month later. A 27-year-old at the time. Police found tens of thousands of dollars from drug sales at his home. 
He had been released from prison in 2015 after being convicted of grand theft of a motor and cocaine possession.